Okay, welcome back everybody. We are here for our developer sync. We've been out in Hawaii for a while and uh, we got some really great work done. Uh, we're going to resume our daily stand-ups and uh, here we go. So let's start with Gebs. Uh, hey, um, so Pantor, uh was not ready as ready as I um, as I hoped. Um, so they're approaching it from two directions. So one is using a, a full Ubuntu 2004 image, um, you know, consistent with, with what we were using before. Um, but it's a, it's a much bigger image, so it's you know every time there's an update, it could be up to like two gigabytes that every user has to download. Um, so that, that is clearly not ideal, um, and that's not the direction that they want to go, but I've asked them uh, to get us that just as a starting point um, so we can, you know, get moving on that. Um, yeah, the issue that they're having is with a, a, a conflict in Alpine, Linux, uh, with Lib Crypto um, and QP 5.12. So we're talking about some different ways of, of dealing with that, um, of connecting them with, with our contacts in Alpine, and um, uh, we'll see if we can just actually just resolve the issue. Um, another option is that we bump the QT version to 5.14, um, and there's some detail around how the implications of that and how we do that and all that sort of stuff. But, Probably more than we can cover here. Yeah. <laughs> well, just a quick question. None of the choices they've taken are to use our existing recipe <laughs> that build a working QT image. Why well, that's the that? Ubuntu. That's the Ubuntu 2004 one. So, are you saying our two gigabytes? Uh, our image is huge. Yeah. I can't remember how big it is, but it's you know a number of a number of gigabytes. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I think it's wonderful they could shave our image size down, but you might think that for the expense of a gig and a half of disk for storage, that we can afford it, and they could move forward with whatever works. And then they can the impression I've got is it's not a storage issue, it's a download issue. It makes it can take, you know, the great internet connection, it's going to take you a long freaking time to download two gig update time. Yeah, especially if it's an update every single time. But let's let's uh, we can we can discuss this offline. Let's try to stick to our updates. Um, all right, Derek, how's it going? Good, good. Um, so let's see. Wednesday, I think I was talking about getting the SQ two thirty v two update, which is compatible with the new SQ two hundred one that um, Kevin just did. Uh, so the new design is a little bit different size. And the power comes out differently, so we need to update the the, the laser cut design and the three D printer design. Well, uh, I think I promised Josh to have that done Wednesday, and I did not get that done. So I did get that done today. So if you have uh, twenty minutes or so, Josh, throw that on the laser and, and cut it out for me. Um, and then uh, I've been printing parts for the updated version. Um, as well, so as soon as I get the board from um, Kevin, I can throw that in the new design and, and test everything up. So uh, that's been going well. And then uh, tomorrow, I would like to be sending one of these to our, um, hopefully our assembler for the, uh, at, at least for the, um, the initial dev kits, but hopefully for everything. So, I just just shot off an email to him to coordinate um, that, so hopefully I will get those off tomorrow. Uh, with a caveat that it won't have the latest board in it, um, but I think that's okay. We can evaluate off the older board. So that, yeah, that's me. All right, what's coming up um, for tomorrow? Uh, so I have all of the parts for SK240 printed except for the top and the back. So I do have a couple of tweaks to finish uh, those. So I'll probably working on that. In the morning, um, 
And then I, I think I, you know, we need to sync Josh and Johnny and whoever is, else has uh, raised their hand on that buying parts uh, team. We need to sync on that a little bit and probably talk about some stuff. So I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. All right. Yeah, just try to give them a little heads up. Yeah, probably. I'll send out stuff on today so we can try and get some. Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. Um, I'll just throw myself on the spot here because why not? So uh, I had promised last week that I'd be working on the uh, the roadmap and trying to consolidate uh, a lot of the documentation that we went through in Hawaii and created in Hawaii. Um, when I dug into that, uh, it was a little bit more extensive than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we've got something like 40 spec documents going back a couple of years. And, um, and then there's another you know, dozen or more, excuse me, roadmaps uh, that I need to uh, consolidate as well. Um, but, uh, so I don't, I don't have all of that work done, but um, I will at least get a, uh, a roadmap for the roadmap out today, uh, which uh, I think will still be useful. Um, and you guys can all tell me what you think of it uh, later on. So um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's what I've been up to. Uh, but I did enjoy my holiday, which I didn't know that I needed, but I did. So, uh, Ken. We learn something new every day. I did not realize that our update process was us pushing a complete new image out to every device on an update. That's interesting. It carries its own ramifications for discussion at some future point. Sorry, Ken, to interrupt. I don't think that's actually the case. I think they attempt to put push small binary diffs, um, but given the size of the, the image, it sounds like it would end up being a lot of diffs anyway. So, but let's not get sidetracked on that. What are you working yeah, yeah, on? Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm working on, um, actually I'm going through some of the things that uh, Jarvis and, and Kevin went through. I'm uh, almost completed with the refactoring and removal of the Mark II skill second Mark II skill, the Tibby and the CAD, and, and pulling that into the actual base core enclosure, both client and enclosure proper. Uh, so I'm knee deep in that, trying to get messages from both the Google message bus and the regular message bus, and keeping the existing volume still in sync, so that when you were to push a button, and it changes the volume, it wouldn't continue the volume still. So that's where I'm at. I anticipate having a pull request um, ready to go tomorrow so that it will find its way into the next mandatory release. And then I will move over to using Chris's API and getting back into the incremental machine learning project. OK. All right, thanks. Are you still using the Mark II um, feature branch? Is that where we're still doing this work? Yeah, in other words, I haven't committed yet. That's where the pull request is going to. But there will be a few changes, uh, lines of code that I'll ask you to commit on the full blue system skill, just to dampen the actual output of the ICC uh, commands. So it's just two comments, comment two lines out. Uh, and then just make sure that that's uh, released in all future skills. Yeah, but other than that, I'll be on the marketing branch. Okay. Um, Chris Vare. How was your so, Thanksgiving? Uh, uh, it was okay. A little lonely. We used to have a bunch of, bunch of people here. And it was just my family, so. Uh, <coughs> made a lot of food. I'll be eating Thanksgiving dinner for a week or so. But you have like seven uh, dogs, right? So... That's true. <laughs> we could share it with them. <laughs> um, but I did uh, get a version of the query I was struggling with uh, working. Um, and I have the tagger itself working again, um, basically to the point where our initial iteration is supposed to be. So um, I kind of like committed. Right now, um, I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is to test the whole um, the whole path. You know, tag some stuff, get it designated. Um, you know, 
you know, run front to batch jobs, make sure the whole thing kind of works end to end. Um, and then uh, once that's done, I will, I mean, I'll, we'll have to, I'll have to work with Ken on some of the, some of the whiteboard stuff, but because um, I'm curious as to what, um, what he'd want me to do next. And then he sent an email out about, you know, maybe building a, um, a whiteboard contributor tool um, to help us get further faster with training a whiteboard. Um, but then there's also some stuff with Panticola possibly and um, now that SSH stuff goes. So I just wasn't sure what my next priority would be after I get this initial um, iteration of the tagger kind of ready to go. Okay, so it sounds like uh, you've got another day of debugging and testing ahead of you. So let's figure that out uh, between now and the end of tomorrow then. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I circle up with uh, uh, Ken and Gez and see if there's anything that you can help out with or that, that they need help with on, on that front. Um, otherwise, we'll we'll dip back into the job board and there's no shortage of stuff to work on. Oh, no, I mean, Chris, I think uh, if you're ready, I'll, we, can, we can meet briefly tomorrow and go over your API and make sure that everything's working and everything's good. And, you know, let's go over that. Right? If nothing else, that'll validate and maybe open up some stuff that we don't need. So we certainly, you know, probably need to be ready for that whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, great. And uh, Josh, any updates for us? Uh, Johnny and I have been working through the well, a couple of things. NASA, we'll find out tomorrow whether we were awarded a follow-on contract. And uh, Johnny and I have been working on a financial model, which is what I'm looking at right now. Um, that runs out through the end of 2022 and it and allows us to deliver everything that we promised so um, and then i'm patiently waiting for um, for an operating system for this thing so whenever that's done that would be great and um, let me know if you want me to um, have a discussion with our vendor our vendor Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, we're not, you know, it, there was a lot of unknowns going into this. But and as Gez said earlier, we're close. Um, I've also been given a lot of thought to messaging, but that doesn't really belong at this meeting. So I will politely step aside. And then whenever Derek gets me stuff, I will start printing and laser cutting and stuff. All right, fair enough. Um, okay, and uh, out of left field comes Emily. Emily, do you have an update for us? We, um, uh, Kevin uh, had uh, talked with Emily um, in Hawaii about uh, qualifying some PCBA companies for us. So I'm just checking to see if... Uh, oh, sorry. How's, how's that going? from him. Um, I set up some logins for some of the companies, but he had to get some more information together for me to be able to do more. Okay, so you're still waiting on some stuff, some info from Kevin. Okay, uh, feel free to ping him uh, again. He just got back recently from Hawaii, so, um, but he's, he's back and he's working today. Okay, will do. All right, awesome. Um, okay, well, thanks everybody. That'll be it for today. And um, 